connection is today and in the economy what the interstate highway connection used to be. Today you need both, and that's why we need to get every single American uh, affordable, fast internet, which is part of what this bill is going to do. Uh, so these are the kinds of changes we need looking into the future, but the, the truth is we've also just got to take care of what we've got. Those, those very same highways that were built in the 50s, we've been coasting off of some of those investments for a long time. Uh, you know, I, uh, last time you and I spoke, I've been in the Hudson River Tunnels looking at 1910 yeah. construction that hundreds of thousands of passengers still count on. Uh, it's true when you look uh, in every part of the country, but you see some piece of infrastructure in Pittsburgh now, looking up, we were on a riverboat to look at locks and dams and then looked up at one of the most important bridges in the city. And you can see the mesh hang, hang that they've installed hanging under the bridge to catch the pieces of concrete that fall off of it from time to time. So in addition to the exciting futuristic stuff we can do from electric vehicles beyond, we've also just got to take care of what we've got. Sergey Blue, just morning, uh, John Fulamir. Another way that uh, infrastructure is in the news beyond, of course, the deliberations in the Senate is a potential target of uh, cyber attacks. Uh, the oil pipeline of a few uh, weeks ago, that attack, uh, chief among them. And I know with concerns, there's some of it's ransomware, some of it could be even more malicious attempts to knock out critical pieces of infrastructure, power, water, whatever it might be. Can you tell us a little bit about, especially this year, as this issue really comes to focus, things that your department is doing to safeguard critical pieces of the American infrastructure against cyber attacks uh, originating either domestic or overseas? You we're paying close attention to this, and in particular working uh, very closely with the Department of Homeland Security, uh, which has a lot of the resources on, on cyber, as well as the overall national security. I'm under a cyber attack right now. The White House by the President. Uh, the President has made clear publicly and in no uncertain terms uh, that the U.S. will respond, that, that uh, we aren't going to tolerate the, the kinds of cyber attacks that are being uh, I'm sponsored under all kinds of attacks uh, by state actors, but uh, of course we also see. Uh, I'm being attacked by my of, girlfriend, uh, my ex-girlfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend sister. You know, some of these ransomware things are, are now pretty much off the shelf uh, software that, that uh, any criminal organization or individual can acquire, which is why we're working with the relationships we have uh, to help encourage players to harden their targets. Look, so much infrastructure is not. Things like the U.S. Uh, interstate highway system, for example, which is which is uh, you know state uh, and, and federally owned and operated. Uh, when you look at uh, you know water systems, those are owned and operated by small towns or communities. When you look at electrical grids or, or pipelines, they're owned and operated by companies. Some of those companies aren't very big, and some of them don't have a lot of resources to deal with this. So uh, we have to partner with them to make sure that they have taken the steps to uh, be more immune. Now, we're talking about vaccinating and inoculating the country against COVID. Uh, we've got to do something to better inoculate our critical infrastructure against these cyber threats. Secretary Pete Buttigieg, uh, thank you very much for coming on the show this morning. It's good to see you. Yeah, I'm under some crazy cyber attacks. And, you know, being a fifth, uh, fourth generation union electrician, you know, back when the, there was lanterns, and you didn't have, you know, when the castles were around, you know, and there was no such thing as electricity, you know, no light bulbs that were, you know, keeping people's homes lit or anything like that. You know, I'm a f very important person to society, and I'm under an attack every day now. I, I don't have you know, my room. I don't have a wife, a girlfriend. You know, and it's really important that I do because um, all of my ancestors, you know, white people built everything in this country because they had a wife, you know, who was also white. It's weird to say the word white in front of everything, but it's also important to know the difference between who did all this work and how was it done, you know. It was, um, you know, people who felt pride and, you know, joy about their lives. And right now, you know, I've wasted a lot of time just trying to find a wife and have a family and kids and I'm being robbed of that on a daily basis you know so like these guys right here talking about you know cyber attacks it's me I'm under all kinds of attacks beyond cyber everything you know uh, you know I'm being stopped from you know 
reproducing or even having a family. And, like, I've paid taxes for schools. My family's put electrical and taxes in hospitals. You know, and it wasn't white women, you know. I Yeah, I need a white woman to be by my side. That's a very important piece to the puzzle. You know, it's not the most important thing, but it is, you know... It can't be done without it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, a tire isn't the most important thing on a car. But guess what? If you're missing one piece of the puzzle, if you're missing one tire, you're not going anywhere. You know, so, you know, I'm missing a wife and uh, I'm not going anywhere. So it's that fucked, you know. So, yeah, and all these blacks and stuff, they don't they don't care if they're, like, stealing a, a, a wife from a white dude. or They, they throw it in. That's what these women are doing. The women or the white chicks are cunts. Oh, I'm fucking black dudes. They're so cool. It's like, no, you, you know, uh, it's like imagine somebody, you know, raping your wife every day in your house, you know, and you have to come home to that. It really disturbing, you know, some fucked up shit. You know, just a, just a theory of it is just a fucking horrifying nightmare. You know, it'd be like you, you know, me coming and fucking murdering all the babies on the planet every single day. You know, just some really fucked up shit. You know, but they're like re, and it's like really happening in America. Like I can't get a fucking wife and have children because I'm being attacked every day, every second of every hour, usually. There's, like, my neighbors are, I'm surrounded by these, like, black people, and, uh, you know, they're, like, making noises and talking and saying the most inhumane things, talking about stealing my house, murdering me, and, you know, it's just everything, every day, you know, like, talking about, you know, you know, personal things and just watching me, like, every second of every day, focused, highly focused, you know, in on my life. Um, just to, you know, hurt me specifically, like, in a large amount of them. Like, it takes a lot of people to put all the electricity in a hospital, okay? The amount of time I've seen these people in particular spend staring at me, hurting me, killing me, and just wasting my life, inhumane, sickingly, sickingly inhumane, you know? The time I've spent fucking retaliating to it, I personally, by myself could have put all the electricity in an entire hospital. You know, that's how fucked up the situation is. It's real bad. So cyber attacks on infrastructure. Yeah, infrastructure is really nice. You know, and it's it's fuck it's messed up. You know, I got I walk around with a fucking, you know, a knife every day and shit. I don't know what's going to happen next, but I know for damn sure I've been without a girlfriend or having a wife for fucking like my whole life, basically, and I've been seriously fucked over, and, uh, you know, it's a messed up situation, like, there's no excuse for this, uh, it's very inappropriate, and, um, you know, really bad, so, that's what I got to report today, uh, here's my freaking dragon, you know, keep it real, or get a lantern, half it, you know, Half of Africa doesn't have electricity, if you didn't know. And there's 1.2 billion people in Africa. So, and it's more than half. So maybe like half would be 600 million. I think maybe 800 million people in Africa don't have electricity. I'm a fourth generation electrician from Chicago since electricity was invented. My uncles, my grandpa, and great-grandpa have been installing electricity in Chicago since it was invented. And, uh, you know, it's critical. Oh, yeah, and the 800 million black people in Africa who don't have electricity, they also don't have water, they don't have food, shoes, clothing, you name it. They're, you know, really bad off, uh, let alone Internet, you know, to get information, you know, and... Um, Everything in America, you look around, is built by white men. It's not really the women. It's, you know, it's the men who did it. And, uh, you know, uh, it's just a messed up situation. Um, there's, a, oh yeah, and it's really hard to find out. There's only 700 million white people on the planet. So out of that 700 million, you know, more there's more black people without electricity in Africa than there is white people in the world, and that's only half 
of Africa. So that's a lot of blacks. And that's weird because, you know, all the other guys in the world, there's 2 billion Asians, a billion, two, a billion, 1.2 billion black people in Africa, you know, two, almost 2 billion Indians in India. You know, the, the billions add up really quickly. I think 6 billion people are poorer than Mexico. In Mexico, you know, their whole day of work, eight hours of hard concrete labor only pays $5 for the whole day. And six billion people are poorer than Mexico. So it's like, that's a lot of people poor. That's mostly everybody who's poor in the world, you know. And all these guys want to fuck, you know, white chicks and shit. And they are. You know, they're messaging from other countries on dating sites. And the white chicks, they're not even, they're, they're horrible in the country right now. What they're doing right now, they're selling pictures of themselves nude so on the internet to a bunch of guys and, like, trying to get rich. So instead of just being there for one guy, like a traditional marriage, you know, one white guy, one white girl, white guy goes to work, he's doing everything, he's got his wife behind him, supporting him. Now it's white guys with no girl, you know, and just the girls are, like, selling pictures of themselves to a bunch of guys, you know. And I wouldn't even consider these other fools men. You know, because they're just in this country, you know, hurting the, um, the, I'm like a, you know, a grandchild of, you know, the people who built this, this country. These other people are terrible, you know, just, I would say they're inhumane, sick and inhumane. America represents the most humane country on the planet, and right now, it, guys like me are under attack and have been, you know, um, they want to see nothing, you know, the illegal immigrants, I had, I'm forced out of Chicago because illegal Mexicans and shit flooded my hometown, they'll do everything for dirt cheap, 10 of them could fucking outwork me in a second, you know, it's not a joke, it's a problem, you know, 10 of them can smother any human being, you know, line up in the gas station before you even get there, 10 of them, you got to wait behind 10 people to get gas, wait behind 10 people to get food, you know, it's a just a major problem, that's 10 people, okay, now imagine 25 million illegal immigrants in this country, maybe even more, you know, it's like, whoa, what am I waiting in line for here, I'm gonna die waiting in line, you know, it's a fucking huge problem, it's ass ass backwards and the white chicks you know instead they're trying to get rich uh blacks are advocating rap and this stupid shit everywhere you know listen to rap just listen to some black guy talk about fucking you know it's like uh uh don't idolize that you know idolize what built this country otherwise you know it's it's coming to it's coming to a t it's coming to a bad end the cyber attacks and shit this shit's all fucked you know it's all it's all just it's all pretty much a clusterfuck, you know, any country could build their country from where they're at, you know, go there, build, you know, infrastructure, build, you know, buildings, water treatment plants, um, put in telephone pole or utility poles and run electricity from transformers, get on a power grid, you know, it's going to take some type of activity like that to really save these other people in other countries, you know, but as for guys like me, you know, who really need all your help and prayers, you know, I just hope to God I get myself a wife here soon, you know, and a, a woman who actually loves me. Because like I said, most of the white chicks I see now, they're selling themselves, spreading themselves thin, you know. Like you want a peanut butter sandwich, you want a thick peanut butter sandwich, you know what I'm saying? Not this thin shit where, you know, you just like see a picture of a girl. Hey, you know, that's my fucking love life, you know. Here's a picture of a girl, not necessarily to me, just sent to a bunch of people. You know, just some chick saying, look at me. You know, that's my interaction with a fucking female. Give me a sick break. Holy Christ, that is fucked. You know, so it's real bad. You know, like I said, a woman and a guy, what real love is, is devotion. You know, he devotes himself to her. She devotes himself to him. They're both together and they have something to remember, you know, and that's their life. And that's what my family tree is, you know. Great grandma, the grandpa, this. You know, grandma and grandpa this, you know, and it, it's like a big chain, and that's what a family tree is. You know, these white chicks are ruining the coat of arms, the family tree, you know, and it's just them. They'll go in, like, they'll join the family tree, and then they'll, like, divorce and, like, make the guy collect child support. So it'll be this beautiful family tree of accomplishments, and then just, wham, murdered by some fucking messed up white chick. You know, that's the truth of what's happening. You know, that's not all of them. There's some hardcore, you know, 
farmer chicks and some like you know down to earth chicks who are you know being there for their man and stuff and representing the American couple and that's how I was with my girlfriend representing an American couple but she you know fell off hard and they attacked her you know and exploited me and you might not even see this video because of this fucked up situation but the truth is real and I'm here to tell it you know really sick really sick guys I'm sorry you know here's this light bulb I got it's a new light bulb the firework light bulb check it out I hope you guys are semi living a decent life and for you scumbags who stole you know a white wife from a girl or for every one of you blacks or mexicans or whoever ties up you know even a second or a minute of a white chick's time taking that away from some white dude you know who historically you know a white guy and a white girl did everything for society in this country and all that you know every second you take away from them just know you're killing you know the world at that point so don't feel proud about yourself it's disgusting blacks stay with the blacks mexicans stay with the mexicans and do it in your country you know it's not that hard to fucking build shit we don't need you here you know building shit you know Mexicans, you say you came here to pick fruit because no one will. We got tractors. We got shit like that to do that. You know, you guys are just coming here. Job competitions fucked. Everything's fucked, you know. You people have fucked up us, and we've done everything good for the planet and shit. And you people are just blaming everything on us, calling me a racist and shit. You know, my family's put all the electricity in Chicago. The Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves in the Emancipation Proclamation. And we gave all the black people free housing and shit. And they just sat around fucking. They got to be around their families 24 hours a day with free housing. I, You fucking work yourself to the bone. You're not even around your family all day. In some way. And fucking, you die just to see your family. You pay for a house that you don't even live in. You got dead up to your eyeballs. And these black people just been dancing around with their families, spending time with them all day. And it's fucking sick, you know. It's real sick, you know. White people gave them all their free housing and shit, and they've just stomped and fucking destroyed, you know, whites. Every they, the BLM fucking burnt down the country, complaining that white people ruined their lives. These are the only black people who have a chance at saving Africa, you know, because they have information and you know could have a goal and a focus to go and help their own people. Instead, they're just focusing on fucking white chicks and rubbing it in white dudes' faces. Now that's sick and disgusting, you know, it, it dropping down to their level is just so inhumane, you know, but there's so many of them. Look, 1.2 billion black people in Africa alone, you know, the, those numbers are outrageous. And, you know, there's 300 million people in America. They're not all white, you know, I deal with, you know, I'm the only redhead wherever I go, always, you know, so, and I'm rare, green eyes. Green, blue, beautiful eyes, like a marble, you know, beautiful color hair, and still, it's fucked. I'm fucked. It's a fucked up thing. So, yeah.